Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today I am playing Supermarket Simulator. Yep, I'm running a supermarket. So we need to order some goods. What do we want to sell? Okay, there we go. This will leave us with about $2 left, so... Let's run it. Let's run it. Pick up the boxes that just arrived. Jesus, that was quick. What city is this? Oh God, can I die? I don't know, I'll have to try another time. Let's unstock this. Let's unstock this. Let's go uh, sort this out. How do I How do I put that? Oh, open. Oh my, okay. I did not realise it was going to be a case. For some reason, I thought I was only getting one. So I'm actually glad that they didn't let me do more. Uh, oh, there we go. You just place them like this. Oh, whoops. Hey, there you go. We got some oil. Okay, set the price of the product. Oh, wait, I'm not even done yet. We need to sell these for... More than 150 each. Let's go for market price. What does this mean? Do I just try and sell it for like slightly less than that? Or exactly that? Let's try and just get like a tiny, tiny saving on people. Let's open the store. And now we have to wait for the first customer. Oh, hello, sir. You're looking quite dapper today. Maybe this oil would interest you. Hey, he's bought some oil. Uh, wait a second. Hold up. Because this is the tutorial... Could I potentially scam this guy? I'm guessing because it's a tutorial, like, they have to buy it, right? I wonder if you could, like, just cheese the system and have set that price to, like, way higher. I, you know what? Oh, do I want to do it? I kind of want to try it. I'm going 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 to try it. Okay, then we're going to stack it on the shelf. Let's set this price to something absolutely ridiculous, like 99999. This would quite legitimately bankrupt you. Okay, let's open, open the store. And now let's wait for, for the customer to inevitably spend his life savings. It's too expensive. Okay, okay. So he's not happy about that. Okay, I'm guessing market price is meant to be something to go off of. How about $5? It's more expensive than market price. I'm pretty much, I might as well name this thing Waitrose. Any customers? Or are they going around telling everyone that I run the worst uh, shop in town? Ah, uh, hello, sir. Maybe you'd like to come uh, take a visit to my lovely supermarket. Maybe you'd like to buy some overpriced oil, perhaps. Yeah, come on in, come on in. Take your pick. Oh my god, he's actually buying it? This guy is a fool. Uh, but don't tell him I said that. Okay, so we scan it. Oh, thank you. Got the right amount of change. How much did he give me? Oh, wait, here we go. It tells you here. Change one dollar. There's your one dollar change, sir. Okay, we just made five bucks. Oh, hello. Uh, you scan this. Tap the card. Oh, wait, can I scan them? <laughs> Damn it. Oh my god, it, it's people flooding in. I want to change the price on this. Let's get that bumped up to like seven. Uh, okay. Scan this, take your money, you want one dollar change, there you go. Scan this, beep, uh, seven dollar now. Oh wait, no, because they picked it up when it was five, damn it. Screw you. Oh, oh my god, you are, you're not the prettiest of uh, people, my my friend, but that doesn't matter, your money is, except, what, really, you've just given me 20, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, we're doing, we're doing pretty well, we're doing pretty well. Wait, people are still buying this. I've got to bump this up. Hey, anyone want to come and buy my, uh, like, more than two times the market value oil? Hello, ma'am. You look like you could do with some oil. Perhaps you've run out at home, you know? How are you going to make those pancakes? It's pancake day. Yeah, it's definitely not. It's far from it. But, yeah, you know, it's coming up. It's coming up. Just a year away. It's too expensive. Okay, how about... You know what? I'm just going to try and slowly get a price that people Hey. Hello, you look like you could be doing with some uh, $9 oil. You look like the type of guy who needs oil in his life, and I've got it for you. You can get oiled up for just the small, small price of $9. Now reduced to $8. I'm just going to keep reducing it until someone, like, actually picks it up. Okay, even 8 is too expensive. Were they buying it for 7 I can't remember if they were actually buying it for 7 or not. Hello, ma'am. Would you like to come into my shop? No? Your twin, perhaps? No? You. Wow, look at that walk. 
That is a confident walk. That is a woman who needs oil. You're so short as well, by the way. So expensive. Broke. Ah, hello car. Kill me. Oh, no. It's just pushing me. Whee! Can I ride on the car? Oh, no, I can't. Okay, okay. You look like you're about to buy some oil. Some fairly priced oil. Only $6. He's actually buying it. Huge. Okay, okay. Profit. Big profit. And he wants 40. Why did he give me a 50? What? My guy came to buy oil and brought a 50. What are you doing, dude? Hey, I'm not complaining. I mean, I kind of am. That's beside the point. It's too expensive for me. Well, we just had someone come in and buy one, actually. So you're just broke. So there. Say we got another one coming in. Yeah, we don't need your business. Hello, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One dollar change. There you are. Oh, this is going well. We're making we're making some some profit here. Let's try and sell. Okay, what's expensive here? Cereal is actually super expensive. Let's buy some cereal and try and make some money on cereal because, again, the higher the value the product, like the better, surely. Choco, chucky pick. Okay, you want your chucky pick? All right, chucky pick goes for. Five ninety eight on the market. I should probably serve this guy quickly. Thank you. And it is eight ninety nine. Oh, no, 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 no! Don't buy this! Don't buy this! Don't buy this! Ah. Okay. Hey, we've already made our money back that we spent on this area. Can I get some lights? Aha! There we go. Wow, the place is flooding in now. People everywhere. I feel like we can definitely bump up the price on this cereal. I'm thinking we go for like an $8 situation. I don't know if this is more valuable than doing the oil. There you go, we made $83 that day. Pretty good if you ask me. You receive daily bills starting today. Make sure to pay the bills using the computer before their due date or you'll be paid automatically. Whoa, okay, we can get product licenses. Okay, this is cool, this is cool, this is cool. Right, I'm not ready to open yet. We need some more products in here. I think having multiple products is good because they would just buy multiple things. So let's just get like a bit of everything if I can. Can I just, okay, I actually, actually can buy one of everything. That is nice. Okay, well back to where we started before I tried to, well, that is a cool stack. Before I tried to like cheese the game. And there we go. We have a nice selection of products now. It is time for me to set the prices on this. So how much of an increase is this? And are people even buying it? I don't think that they probably will be. Like $6 profit is crazy. Market price is six. So do we just go a, a single do dollar do over that? Or do we try six ninety nine for a bang on $4 profit? We'll just try and bump the market up by a dollar then. So it's three twelve on here. We'll do three ninety nine. It's slightly more. This one we'll do five fifty. Okay, let's let's see that. I've gotten everything to around a like four dollar profit. I think that seems okay. Hello, help yourself. And by help yourself, I mean choose what you want and pay for it. Sugar powdered is too expensive for me this six dollars okay let's try 550 on this one hello yeah you can have your choco pick and you want two dollar fifty yes sir there you are getting some sugar today are we plenty of sugar today the fact that she just threw two in there tells me that i've now put this too low and that i maybe shouldn't have valued it based on one guy but yeah, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Wait, he's taking sugar as well. Everyone's taking sugar. Pasta's too expensive. No, it's not. Five, five. We'll see what people say. Two flowers, eh? Sandalar. I feel like we are just kind of breaking even. Every day. Although we have a lot more product. People really are complaining about this pasta, aren't they? Okay, let's chuck it down to... 450 instead then. Okay, you need oh my god. Are we for real? Are we for real? Five dollar fifty and this man gave me a hundred. Screw this guy. There. Next time bring a smaller note. Okay, 
okay, we're making we're making profit now. We are actually officially making profit. We're not just sat around the 80 mark. You know, the, the day's barely started. We are, we, we've got a successful supermarket. But it's not really a supermarket at the minute. It's just kind of a, a tiny corner shop. But hey, it works. I am living the boss man experience. I am boss man. No one's buying bread. The people in this city just don't eat bread or it's like not popular. Oh, hey, bro. Chocolate pick. Yep, no problem. It's a it's a good seller of ours. Purchase license. Okay, it's the two hundred dollar one. So we're gonna have to wait a bit. We're gonna have to sell a bit more before before we're able to buy that. But all is well. All is well. Oh, this guy's buying loads. You see that? Please, please come again. Hey, man, you're back, and you've brought very annoying currency, but. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy your pasta. Sunny day. I don't know where we live, but it's quite nice. Hello, miss. Yes, I see that you are dressed for partying today, actually. But uh, you're not here to party. You're here to buy affordable sugar. And that is absolutely understandable. Have a tremendous day. And don't forget to tell your friends to come and buy the bread. We have way too much of it. And oil. Oh, hello. You look like the type of guy who can afford nice bread. Cereal is too expensive. Bro, we've had, it's our literal, one of our best sellers. What do you mean it's too expensive? Get out of here. I'm going to overcharge you for that. Screw you. Really? You got away with it this time. Oh, yes. A gift from God. You're buying two breads. Oh my God. You're my favorite customer. Have a tremendous day. I'm going to close up for the night. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. What are you buying? What are you buying? Bread? Oh, she's buying bread. Let's get this bread. And you want one dollar, there you go. And I think we're done for the night. We've gotta be nearly done for the night. Let's turn the, turn the light on, my bad. I thought we were done just because it was dark, but. I saw, you can see at the top there, it's almost level three. And something that I saw when we were looking at, are you for real? Are you for real? Really? $88 change. We needed to be store level three to even get the new products anyway. So it's good that we're, we're, we're not too far. Have a fabulous day. And can I finally close shop? Yes, I can. And I'm literally less than $2 from buying uh, new stuff. But it's... Oh, wait. Market price has changed. Ron Slice Bread has gone down. Okay. The market price is three thirty six, which probably bumped this down a bit then. I don't know whether it's worth just sticking everything at market price. Like, stuff is selling when it's over, but I feel like we would just sell more. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's buy, what are we low on? Choco pick and sugar. Choco pick, sugar, make that purchase. Keep ourselves topped up for the day. Might as well open, open shop. Which I'm going to put here for now. Probably not put that in, in the way of the customers. There we go. We've got we've got a top up. Let's uh let's open shop. Hello. What would you like to buy? Sugar. I swear this guy's been in here and already bought sugar. What is your weird obsession with sugar, sir? I won't question it. Just keep buying it, please. Oh man. Two slices of bread. Yeah, I see you're trying to become my favorite customer. I see you're trying. Well, if you keep coming and doing that, hey, maybe you will. Maybe you will. Maybe you will. Let's get a fresh breath of fresh air. Really soak in the city. It's <sighs> not exactly the, the cleanest of places. But, uh, what can you do? Choco pick. Okay. Good pick, good pick. No pun intended. Oh, an old man. I mean, uh, a young dapper man who likes to buy, who can't afford flour. Sliced bread is too expensive. Brother. Well, uh, the customers are flooding in. Uh, uh, $15 and 40 cents. Just gonna bin this. Bear with me. Hello, hello. Yes. Oh wow, you bought a lot of stuff. Twenty dollar fifty. Perfect. Twelve dollar ten. All right. How are we doing for money? Two twelve. We can afford a license, but I think I should probably get some more flour in first. Okay, let's. But actually, no, I won't, I won't buy the license just yet. I want to make sure that we are all right. We 
Whether you just Jeff. Okay, boom, boom. Uh, 10 50. Thank you. Uh, 13 70. Thank you. And whoa, you bought a lot. 2020. Buy the license. Uh, see to this customer. Hello. $15. Thank you. Imagine it's a fridge or shelf. Oh, okay. Fridge or shelf. Well, we have way more stuff on sale now. Fridge or shelf. I mean, do I really need another shelf? I think we're doing fine for shelves. I think we could probably do with a fridge, though. A fridge could be good. It is, however, $200, so it will, for the time being, have to wait. Probably get some new stuff in, but we'll probably get that done for the next day now. I see it's starting to get dark outside. Still got stock, so we should be fine for the rest of the day. Ah, hello. I think you are a Marcus. Hello, Marcus. Marcus, how are you wearing that suit but you can't afford sliced bread? It's not even that marked up. Like, don't get me wrong, it's marked up, but it's not that marked up. No pun intended, Marcus. <laughs> Maybe you should mark us in the place where you come back when you've got money. Ha! Fool. Ah, hello. Marcus, you're back. I really don't know if it'd be better for me to just go for the market price. Like, sell at market price. It would make my life easier if it means that uh, the people will always buy it at market price. Like, if that's a thing. Alright. Start next day. Pasta's gone up. Bread has gone down. I feel like the way to do this would to be buying stuff when it's, like, low, right? So right now, it makes sense for me to, like, stash up on bread. Get loads of bread in. Because then, theoretically, when the price goes back up, I can just put it all out and make a bigger profit, right? That is how that works. Alright, well, we'll get some flour in. Um, we'll just do a full top up. We don't really need sugar. I'm just going to get some random other stuff in, like some some new stuff. Tea? Yeah, never mind. We're, sell we're selling tea. Get rid of the coffee. Alright, let's, let's buy this. Let's, let's stock our shelves with our new product. Well, this is a lot of tea. You got a lot of uh, a lot of tea for what you spend. Although it is quite expensive. What's this? Product needs to be in a fridge. Oh no! I don't have a fridge yet. Eggs also need to be in a fridge. Damn, okay. Yeah, we need to get a fridge. We, we kind of desperately need a fridge. Trying to sell people warm water? Hey, we've got more bread though. Okay, our shop's looking kind of bare now because I didn't realize that half this stuff needed to be put in a fridge. Let's get like as many boxes of bread as I can physically afford. Because it's I can buy it so cheap. It just seems it just it just makes sense. It just makes sense. Okay, we have a ton of bread. I hope that won't be an issue for me. Let's uh let's let's open up and see if people want bread today. Hello. I see you've not picked up any bread. Couldn't find bottled water. Well, I mean, we have bottled water, but I just, I'm not allowed to sell it to you because I don't own a, uh, a fridge right now. Wait, have I, I've not set the prices right. <gasps> no way, I've not set the prices right. No, 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 don't put it on the lowest. Market price is 578 on tea. Okay, that, that's the only new thing. Oh my God, we've just lost so much tea. Damn it. Oh my God, she's bought so much tea. She, oh my, people are exploiting me, man. This is not fair. Just because I forgot to, God damn it. Oh yeah, so you're not exploiting me, you're just buying the stuff I've, you know, actually reasonably priced. Thank you. I appreciate you. Unlike a certain someone who's pretty much just robbed me. It is my own fault. It is entirely my own fault, but I feel robbed. Oh, nice car. Whee! Buy bread, buy bread, buy bread, buy bread. Who? <laughs> Trying to be the, like the angel on his shoulder. Ooh, tea. Okay, we're doing pretty well. We've almost got enough for a fridge. Whoa, those shoes are a statement. Holy. See you a mile away. You're like a glow stick. While it's a big purchase and it kind of looks like, oh my god, I only have 240. I probably shouldn't be spending 200 on a fridge. I already have the product to put in the fridges. So it kind of just makes sense. There we go. All right, let's put our product in the fridge. Oh, wow, this... No, 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 don't take, don't take my underpriced water! Don't take my underpriced water! No, man. The people of this city are so greedy. They will... They see... A, a, oh, it does my head in. Screw you. Never come back. You can come back. You bought it at the price I wanted it to be sold at. Thank you. 
I have, I don't trust these people. Stocking up while people are shopping is not smart because they will just take it at like the lowest possible value that you, they can. And uh, I don't blame them, but oh man, it does my head in. Right, quick, quick, quick. Before we get people in, set the price of this. There we go. My God. I would say overall, so far, we've been pretty successful. Like, we've gotten our corner shop started, we've added a fridge, and, you know, it's humble beginnings. But I've been seriously enjoying playing this. If you guys want to see more, let me know. Thank you for watching, leave a comment if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.